Hello friends, this is Abhishek. Welcome back to the Phone Gap video tutorial. Okay, this is the fourth part of a SQL like third part of SQL like plugin. So today we're gonna see how we can delete the records by using a third party SQL like plugin. Okay, but before that, just take a look of uh, part number three. What we have did in that? Okay, in that we have updated records. Okay, that was very simple. Okay, as whenever user clicks on an edit button, okay, we are going to fetch all this information and assign it to this uh, bow text boxes. And then we are going to hide the grid as well as the show records button and the add button is going to convert back to the update button. Okay, just like this. Right? And as soon as user updates the information and clicks on update button, it will update the existing records. Right? And uh, to get the information latest you have to click on show records button right now in today's video what we are going to do we are going to add a one more button for the delete of existing records okay for that we have to go inside a show values function and uh, we have added the delete button as well right as you guys already know that the columns are case sensitive okay so Keep remind keep in mind that the column sh name should be properly typed because we do not create any kind of intelligence over here to write the JavaScript code. Okay, so else we have added a delete button and we have set a function on click that is the delete record. Okay, and passing the current button reference. Okay, this current button reference is going to help us to get the ID of the next PD value. Right, so we are going to find that particular ID by using the button reference. Okay, after getting the ID, what we are doing, we are firing a simple query that is the delete from demo table where ID equals to this. And here, one more thing I would like to tell you you can also write like this delete from demo table where ID equals to one. Okay. But why I'm not f uh, following this structure? There is a reason. Okay, if you know about the SQL injection, okay, it's a very uh, risky thing. Okay, to avoid the SQL injection, you have to write, you have to follow the query structure just like this. Okay, now what? Now just here I'm giving an insert statement insert into demo table values first sort and tiger okay this is our query now suppose this uh, the name okay this name is inputted by the user okay now just imagine what happens if someone enters like this that means your query is going to be failed cause this is an structurized data right that's why what we are doing we are giving a question mark over here and then assigning a value of it okay if someone enters a single quote the SQL Lite automatically manages it Okay, so you do not need to care about that, right? So here wha we are following the same structure in everywhere, right? Delete from simple query, passing the selected ID, and as soon as the uh, query is get fired, we are giving a message that the record is successfully deleted. Okay. <coughs> now just just do that. Uh, okay. Now. Suppose I am deleting this record, okay? Then what I have to do? I have to remove the whole TD, uh, sorry, whole TR from the table, right? I am not gonna paint the whole grid once again, okay? So I just need to remove this TR. For that, I have to done. I have done. Currently, I find the particular row index of a TR. By using the button reference, okay. I got the row index, and by 
using the delete row which is provided by the javascript ok we can delete a whole row in a single step ok so automatically it will get delete so our ui operations our dom operations will get reduced ok so now i'm gonna run this application in simulator so we'll get the delete button so here cordova run android okay it will take a little bit a little time because it is the first time okay uh, till it compiles okay just check out okay this is my channel youtube.com slash user slash web boostings you'll find all kind of videos related to swift objective c ios phone gap android c sharp asp.net okay custom javascript jquery everything you'll find over here okay and if you want if you don't find any kind of video here you can post it to you can write an email to me okay i'll post a new video uh, on the basis of your requirement okay you can get my email id over here okay be your email id id so you can get that right and uh, if you don't want to search the videos inside the youtube i have the solution for that because currently youtube have lots of videos videos okay so you have to find a particular w which video is uh, really helpful to you guys so what i have done i have listed all the video tutorials which is important to me okay and which is hosted inside uh, this channel so just come into the infologs.in okay and get all your videos at a single place okay don't need to find anything just click on series like if you want to learn android just click on any video of android it will load all the videos of android for example here we have 53 videos of a phone gap suppose i'm clicking this one it will load all the video tutorials of a phone gap okay at a one place just learn okay so coming back to the project so our project is installed and uh, everything i hope everything should get worked okay the delete button is not available over here i think something we missed okay but in my code okay currently it is executing the index phase and we have done coding inside a index port so here i'm gonna rename this index underscore third and i'll uh, remove this okay so it will become our first page first and final sorry last and final page now you have to build your project again but this time it will not take much time just click on show record yeah we got the delete button now i'm gonna delete number two record delete record is deleted successfully okay the number two record is getting removed from the table okay again i'm gonna delete the first one okay right at once guys you can manage the delete operation inside the phone gap application if you have any questions you can write to me or do not forget to subscribe this channel and uh, keep learning till then bye bye and i just want to tell you about my uh, video sponsors devmountain.com uh, just because of them i'm recording this video tutorial for you guys actually they are running a coding boot camp and they provided a different kind of courses like a web development <coughs> web development, iOS development and UX design for the full time and after hours ok uh, the main important point they will teach you everything that you need to take a job in this field ok so uh, I would like to request to just check out their website dermartin.com and uh, I have already put, uh, put down the links inside the description box below and uh, one more thing if you do contact with them just tell them my reference ok uh, till then
keep learning bye bye